got a little video request here. Um, it's about release. Your release. Everybody's going to have a different one. I have my other Phoenix today. It's the Bottomlands camo one. The one I have my little arrowhead tied to. And this bow is the same as that other one. It's a short set at 54 pounds with G modules with the tails broken off. And I had the factory string on here, but I always like making my own. It's an endless loop string. 452X brown um, on the end loops. Like some of that straw is experimenting with some serving to tie it all together, but I really like on these loops to use uh, its brownal crown serving. It's really strong, but it's really slick and it'll slide nice on them limbs when it rolls back. And the center serving is BCY Power Grip. 0.021 and it's a 24 strand string and it fits these gold tip knocks nice so that's that's what I do I like that 452 X it is barely stretched it's stretched a little bit and I don't have a string stretcher or none of that so I twist it up a little more and then I shoot it probably 50 times and usually it's settled in by then and if you can tell by there you see that a little gap left. I set that at probably almost like three sixteenths of an inch or something and it's stretching down. That's back to where I got my brace height set at a six and a sixteenth. So it's about done stretching so this is a fairly new string. I got it all set up for hunting. And I'm going to show you guys how I release. I had a guy asking me about it because he was getting some left and right hits and sure that's all due to release and we're just going to assume you have the right spine arrows and the rest of the setup is good. You're happy with where your arrow rest is on your bow, whether it's towards the riser or out or however it fits you. You just got to do a lot of experimenting when you're doing primitive shooting. So I'm guilty of all this in a fox hunting video last year. Um, I'm sure some of you have saw, seen it. Um, it was back here. I missed that dude at about 25 yards. I shot right under him. Then he trotted off towards the back of the wood line. And I had a GoPro on my head. I knocked up another arrow, a small game point. I had one of them on there. And he got out there at like 50 yards and I just held. And right when I released, you could see my head coming up to look before I even let the arrow go. But you're not supposed to do that, I know. I know I catch myself doing a lot of stuff I'm not supposed to do and sometimes I manage to hit good. So, I'm guilty of plucking out to the side. A lot of the times I'll, I'll make it work out, but when I'm really getting good arrow flight and I'm dead on on a day you're shooting good, it, when, my, when the shot breaks, my fingers will almost my index will almost point up. That's just what it naturally does. Just boom. Some of you might come back there towards your shoulder. It just breaks hard when you have a good clean finger release. And I shoot split. So it's bad when you do it like that. But I, I do it and I sometimes I don't think about it but it happens. But the cleanest release is you push and pull through your shot. Just like you're shooting a recurve in the old days or the new days, like these days. A lot of people are going traditional. You're pushing and you're pulling, boom, it breaks. Everything expands out. Perfect arrow flight. So I'm going to try to zoom in on my face and do some shots getting me releasing. And we'll slow it down and we'll just see what this is going to look like. And as you know, this is unrehearsed yard stuff. So yeah, let's do it. Get the hat backwards and I'll see if I can get this zoomed in on my mug here. And I just drilled the knot on that rope. I'll show you. It was perfect. That thing felt good, dude. Dude. Dude, I ain't even kidding you. 
I ain't even kidding you about this hot freaking sun. I just hosed myself off after working today. I'm out here sweating. And we're gonna do another one at this angle. Okay. Just for the heck of it, I'll show you where I hit. That way you know. That way you know when you know stuff. That way you know I can at least shoot a little bit. That one arrow that's kicked up is in the knot and the other one is right under it. Alright, I'm ready in a different spot here. I'm trying to get a different angle. The sun's sitting in the west here and it's just terrible out there where I'm shooting. Now as you can see, it looks like I have some big old giant fat fingers, but you know what? I make it work. I hook my cheekbone. And it felt good. Right in there on that, that little miniature caribou. Let's see if I can put another one right where it is. You just want to work on pushing and pulling and don't move when it when it breaks just expand that's that's how it's supposed to be I remember when I was shooting my grandma's old bear recurve when she used to shoot for bear archery way back in the day they my grandma and grandpa were professional bear uh, shooters for bear they would do indoor and outdoor tournaments and when I was about 10 years old yeah because we were shooting indoors my grandpa set me up with a clicker on her recurve. The arrow would pull through. It would, we'd cut the arrow short so it would, you'd continue pulling, pushing and pulling and aiming. You'd pull through, pull through your arrow through that clicker and it would slap the riser, boom, then your shot breaks. Man, that was, that's good shooting when you do it that way with a recurve. That'll really help, it's just training. And plus, I, I was spanking some people with that bow. It was cool. You just got to be a machine. Anyway, that was a long time ago. And, and me, and just like you guys are, we're all still out here finger shooting. You got to keep it primitive. Just come back, get your anchor, aim however you aim, whether it's instinctive, just snap shooting or whatever, if you're gapping. I'm split vision. Push, pull. Give them the axe. Let me show you where that shot is. This is only like 15 yards. Two in there on the hornless caribou. All right, just for the heck of it, I'm gonna bomb a few at long range. This is 75 or something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. All sweaty now. All right, that the uh, the release part of the video is over. That's just what I do. No matter how you do it, just think push pull. Try you got to hold with your fingers but keep your fingers also relaxed. Try not to think about it too much. Just just boom. Just let it break. If you're having a real problem, get about five foot from the target and close your eyes and draw back and just hit the anchor or whatever feels natural and just work on feeling that release. Just push, pull, feel how natural that feels when it breaks clean and you're not worried about where you're hitting or who you might want to impress or what, and just none of that. Block all that out. 
do some blind bale shooting. That'll that'll help you feel what's going on. All right here. I got this old thing here. I know some guys might wonder how far does he have his rest in there. It's my arrow is sitting towards the right of the string. It's not like what they say in the books, what it should be. All my bows seem to tune with my arrow. Well, hell, here. If I held that up there square, see that's, now I'm pointing dead on. If I'm squaring that bow up at you, it sits off towards the riser. I know it's however I do things, but that's what you gotta do. There can be no rules. And we're just gonna keep this going here. Let me zoom in. We'll see if we can hit that buck. Probably gonna miss. And I'm gonna have to shoot on the other side of this tree. So the camera is gonna be about four foot away from me. There's one hit. Looked a little bit right. I'm going to shut this off. We'll walk up there and look. One right there. And it was a high hit. Alright, well that'll do it. Just a couple long range. Mainly a release video. No shooting display of any kind. Um, I just walked out the door and just thought I should do this today. So, if you have any questions, maybe just a good visual aid of seeing somebody else shooting might help you. But to answer your question, if you want to really center up on your left and right problem, I would suggest a tab. That is the slickest, smoothest release you can possibly have with fingers. And I, that's what I used to shoot when I used to shoot the recurves and in indoor competitions and stuff. A homemade leather tab, real slick. Dude, that string would come off of there, boom, perfect. But now, I just like getting my bow and going. Got fingers. When I hunt, I use a mechanic glove, but I cut these three fingers out of it. And the thumb so I can run the camera and stuff. And, pick my nose or whatever I got to do anyway you guys keep on shooting I gotta get out of this Sun because I've sweated enough today see ya